amazing event and I thank everybody for coming to this very important um, demonstration on the issues of racism. My brother was Sean Rigg, who died at the hands of Brixton police officers almost seven years ago. He suffered with mental health issues and mental health issues is a very, very important issue for this country right now. I want anybody in this square that suffers with mental health issues or a member of a family that suffers with mental health issues or their friends to put their hands up. Put your hands up if your family or friends suffer with mental health and there's no stigma in this square. And I want you to see that so many people have got their hands up. It can happen to any one of us. It's very important. My brother was having a psychotic episode when the police put their hands on him and restrained him on the back of his neck in a prone position when the jury found was for up to eight minutes where he couldn't breathe. He couldn't breathe. And they put him at the back of a police vehicle, brought him to Brixton Police Station, kept him at the back of the van for 11 minutes before he was brought out of the cage. And you can see Sean, he's collapsed and he was treated like a dog. They treat their police dogs better than human beings. Nobody cared, not one single officer cared and allowed my brother to die. Since the inquest four years ago, we have had countless reviews, IPCC investigations, CPS investigations into perjury of the officers where some of the officers were arrested and just before Christmas the CPS found there was insufficient evidence to prosecute. And we are challenging that decision. We are also waiting for the IPCC to complete their investigation into the death of my brother and it's almost seven years. We are also waiting for the Metropolitan Police to complete their disciplinary proceedings against the two officers for perjury. And I want an answer quickly. I want all of you to look out for the United Families and Friends banner and any leaflets to come and support the families who have lost their loved ones in psychiatric units, including children, prisons, police stations and immigration officers. Um,